Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got some of those uh, boxes, repack boxes that you'll find at uh, Walgreens. Where uh, I got one of the uh, Football Collector's Edge. Uh, one in four contain a hit. These used to be actually numbered with like, I think it was like 100 cards. And then I know the baseball one dropped to like 75 cards. And then I think they just kind of stopped putting a number on these. Um, these were... $4.99, I think. Um, I think they might have been up to like $5.49 now or so. Um, but uh, I haven't opened up one of these in a while. I saw them. Figured I'd grab one. Um, and then I got one of the um, the football prime packs that you usually see at uh, Walgreens. Um, two packs and then one uh, bonus card. It's supposed to be a hobby pack. Um, and then you look for uh, randomly insert high-end hobby packs where I did see uh, a couple of people posting on twitter and stuff like that where they were actually pulling uh mosaic out of these so i don't know they only had one when i went so i figured you know what the heck i'll uh just uh you know buy that one and uh i remember personally i did buy these a while back and uh i've been probably sitting on these for a little while now so i couldn't even tell you i think i've had these for at least probably about two months and some cards are stuck up in here um, but, you know, look for randomly inserted cards, packs, uh, autographs, parallels. So, um, they did a kind of a, uh, nope, looks like I got them all now. But, uh, so, you know, we'll see how many cards are in here, see how many packs. Usually it's just, it used to be just one pack, but they did give us two packs. Uh, some collegiate trading cards, LSU and... LSU from, let's see if there's a year on here. No, not even a year. So some LSU trading cards and some Ohio State uh, Panini trading cards. Um, hmm. 2015 on the Ohio State one. So they've been around for a while. So was I expecting anything crazy? No, not at all. But, you know, figured, you know, see what happens. But oh, there's some... These uh, have some uh, sticking to them. We got uh, Randall Hill, rookie, wide receiver. Uh, from score, Wes Hopkins, safety. We got William Roberts, Ken Lanier, Clyde Simmons, Thurman Thomas, Pro Bowl, Bubba Paris, James Thornton, Scott Miller, a rookie wide receiver. Uh, Hardy Nickerson, Ken Mitchell, final five. Uh, then we got... Uh, Lawrence McCrew. Then we have Eric Morton. Then we got Keith Sims. Reggie Roby. Jim Sweeney. Frank Stam. Uh, Sam Siegel. Junior Sayo. Randall McDaniel. Then uh, NFL Newsreel. Youngest named uh, NFL's top executive. Then we got. Uh, Ruby Booms at Skywards, Dolphins card. With a nice little spot on the back. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Sam Mills. Then we got uh, Kurt uh, Warner, uh, running back, Wes Hopkins. Then we got rookie Rashad Bateman from Premier Draft, some Premier Draft cards. So, eh, Mika Parsons, not, not a Trey Lance, not too bad. Uh, Kylan Hill, Nico Collins, so some newer uh, rookie cards from the uh, 2021 Premier Draft. Uh, Sean Lattimore, uh, then we got Darren James, uh, rookie card, not a bad card realistically. Um, could be way worse. Uh, Randall Cobb, then we got uh, Kareem Hunt, Zach Cunningham, then we get a Joe Burrows and a Tua. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, Touchdown Kings, Colin Johnson, DeAndre Swift, uh, Leaf Rookies, and then uh, All-American Draft, uh, Justin Herbert. So, um, box wasn't too bad. Now, granted, these are Leaf products. They don't have the rights to, you know, either the uh, NFL logos or the college uniforms, as far as I know of, not the college, at least with Leaf, but... Um, at least getting a couple of those, you know, I'll take it. It's not a bad box. I mean, for the five dollars, you know, um, you know, opening this up, I kind of thought, you know, five 
five, maybe 10 decent cards. And by decent cards, I mean more of um, players that I grew up liking or um, you know, something on those lines, no high value card. I'm not expecting no, you know, 20, 30, $40 value cards, you know, maybe 50 cents to a dollar, you know, uh, worth, you know, but a uh, couple of cards actually in there, not too bad. I'm kind of shocked with how decent that was. So let's open up these uh, LSU cards, uh, eight cards per pack. This is part of the uh, first edition. Um, yeah, more, well, if anybody's interested in more information about collective, uh, coll collegiate collective products, collection products, um, ask about the gold collection of your favorite school. So, um, you know, anybody's interested in, you know, trying to look into some of this stuff. So these are all LSU cards. We got uh, Matt DeFrank, James Britt, Mike uh, DeMary, Doug Moreau, Eric Hill, Bo Strange, Glenn Hansen, Eddie Ray, and Howard Carter. So um, just kind of looking quickly. None of these names really stuck out to me. Um, that's because a majority of these uh, played for uh, LSU before I was even born, and a few of them I was roughly under the age of five. So. Um, so, all right, Ohio State trading cards. Let's see what's in here. Uh, eight cards per pack. Uh, usually I see these blasters in Walmart. Um, I've personally never purchased one of them uh, just because I don't necessarily have a certain college that I follow regularly. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So these are these are Panini products, so they are allowed to use the uh, the Ohio State uh, licensing. So uh, Panini, uh, we got Value Center Arena at uh, Jermaine uh, Schautenstein. I might have pronounced that wrong. Center uh, in Columbus, Ohio. So if you guys are, uh, you know, Ohio State uh, University, I apologize in advance if I uh, mispronounced that. And then we have Ohio State University. Just a picture of the campus. And then we got uh, Brutus Buckeye, their uh, official mascot. Then uh, honors uh, D'Angelo, D'Angelo uh, Russell, not a bad card there. Uh, should be probably an insert set out of uh, this Ohio State set. Uh, I believe it said there was a 50 card or 49 card set that you can get. Uh, Philly Brown, we got Jim Jackson, Nate uh, Ever, and then Mike Adams. So no real huge names, wasn't really expecting too, too much out of it, but uh, it's kind of funny too, all these cards, you got 37, 39, 41, and 43. So did kind of a, you know, pretty fancy job of uh, mixing them around if uh, if you notice. But anyway, besides the point. So let's get on to this um, prime pack. Uh, two packs, one bonus card. Um, I kind of tried to see if I could see, but I um, this past year was the first year I really started collecting football cards. So... You know how old packs look i couldn't personally tell you so hopefully you know something you know a little worthwhile out of here um but our uh, one card uh michael uh the shore uh detroit lions uh from score this would be his uh second year card so nothing real crazy i know he had some injury problems so then we got a uh, patini panini contender excuse me draft picks uh, from 2015, and then a NFL 5 trading card game. Uh, these were those, uh, it's like a digital game, uh, I think, or not a, not, not a digital game. I think there's a digital version of the game as well, too. It's basically like uh, if you took uh, football cards and made a Pokemon game out of them, basically, from, from my understanding. So very disappointing, but... Uh, you know, let's open it anyway. We got uh, Demonte Kazi. Uh, then we got uh, Defensive Synergy. So I guess it's like a power up. Uh, Markel Lee. Uh, Jason Pierre Paul. Then well, we got some little diamond. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call it actually, but uh, Kenny Seals. Seals, excuse me. Do get a Russell Wilson. Uh, one play, I guess that's a, you can determine what you want to do there. 
uh, Bradley Chubb and then uh, Marcus Peters. So a little disappointing, you know, getting that. But um, couldn't even tell you if any of these even had any type of value. I know nothing about these personally except for what they are or, you know, what they're compared to. So, I mean, the case the old one's kind of neat, though, with the, you know, the cracked uh, look to it. But All right, so last uh, pack, um, Panini Contenders 2015 draft picks. So maybe we can pull a little something out of this. Uh, potential for autographs. I guess this would be, I guess this is a hobby pack, I'm hoping. So let's see what we get. So we start off with a season ticket of Carson Palmer. Then we got Julius Peppers, Brandon, Brandon Marshall. Then we got a uh, bowl ticket, uh, which is numbered actually, uh, 57 and 99 of Adrian Peterson. So not too bad. Uh, game day tickets, uh, Marcus Mariota. So I think. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember who was even drafted that year. Then we got EJ Bibbs. Uh, then we got Jalen Strong, school colors. And then uh, Calvin Johnson, old school uh, colors. So nothing too exciting out of that. Didn't really have too many high hopes, but uh, overall, you know, kind of a meh opening. I wasn't really expecting too, too much out of this product. I know, you know, a lot of people... Uh, you know, do like this for, I see it, something like this is better for kids, in my opinion, just to kind of, you know, if you're looking to get them, you know, some cards or, you know, something like that. Um, I think these are good uh, for that. If you're looking for something to, uh, you know, potentially, uh, you know, if you're looking, at, if you're opening these looking or hoping to make any money off of them, um, I think you're sadly mistaken. But uh, I usually do open up one of these from time to time just for the fun of it. Um, I'll be honest with you, actually, this time around, though, these, um, there was actually a little bit of value to these, which normally I would say it, there is not any value, um, you know, with getting some of these premier draft cards, I, I, now are the premier draft cards very valuable? No, I mean, they're not really sought after or anything like that, but, you know, at least you're getting some names, so at that $5 price tag... You know, because I think you usually buy a box of these, you get 50 of them for 20 bucks. Um, you usually get two or three autographs and, you know, that's about it. So at least getting some of those thrown in there and, you know, at least with the names that I got, um, you know, not too bad. I mean, I've seen way worse boxes, uh, especially those uh, um, collector's edge boxes. But uh, with that... Overall, not too bad. So if you guys like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Leave any comments on these. You know, tell me if, you know, these are, you know, hard pass or, uh, you know, you, you know, you buy one from time to time, you know, you go into Rite Aid to, or Walgreens to pick up, you know, some, some sort of convenience item, you see it sitting there, you know, you rip one in the car kind of thing. Um, I completely understand why, you know, some people would do that, but I don't really go out of my way to buy box after box of these, I just, you know, once in a while kind of thing. So, but, you know, with that... Leave any likes, leave any comments. If you haven't subscribed already, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, with that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.